You know how your assistant coaches are supposed to hold your back when you're getting ready to get a technical foul, or if you got your first technical foul as a basketball coach, then the assistant coach or coaches are supposed to hold your back so you don't get a second one, because if you get a second one, you're going to get thrown out. Now, having said that, no coach is beyond criticism, and that includes me. But even if you put politics aside, even if you put the lack of support that she showed for Brittany Griner when she was overseas. The comments that Coach Mulkey has made with regards to Caitlin Clark in not so many words is sad and unfortunate because I would argue that Caitlin Clark is the best women's college basketball player in the history of the game. And the fact that she called her out for the style that Iowa is playing and the way that she plays is not just sad as a competitor and rivals, but because what I've seen on the women's side at the intercollegiate level or the professional level is a camaraderie that we don't typically see on the men's side. And that's why I'm disappointed. Because the reason, in part, that I love being on the women's side after spending 15 years on the men's side at the college level is the way that the women typically support each other despite the competitive spirit and trying to win and all that stuff. I think Coach Milky was off base. I think she was wrong for these kind of comments. She should probably walk them back because it's much bigger than her. It's about all the girls and women out there. It's about representation. It's about Title IX, and I'm pretty irked at those comments. I mean, what Kaylin Clark has done for the game to inspire so many of the next generation, in addition to Angel Reese, and in addition to others, Paige Beckers, and other incredible players that are playing intercollegiate basketball right now. But none have had the impact or may ever have the impact that Caitlin Clark is having and will have when she decides to continue on in the WNBA. None. I'm sorry. And what you should be doing is talking about the competitive spirit and the rivalry, but you should be uplifting her and talking about how amazing she is for women's basketball. And you're missing the boat so badly on this. Um, it's frustrating. And I'm sorry, but you're wrong. You're just flat out wrong for saying that. And not the former. Now back to the point I was making earlier about assistant coaches holding back the head coaches uh, to prevent them from getting their first or second technical foul. Now I don't know if this has been done already by the administration or by... Coach Mulkey's assistant coaches or by the players themselves. But a phenomenal assistant coach will stand up thoughtfully to their head coach when they disagree with something at the right time. And so I hope that somebody in her inner circle or in the administration has shared with her these sentiments. Because we all get emotional as coaches. We all sometimes have blind spots. And that's why you need good people around you to give you some perspective and let you know when you're wrong. Maybe you should criticize your own player for how she went overboard at the end of the national championship game instead of criticizing Iowa and their incredible coach and Kaylin Clark, who I think is the greatest college basketball player of all time.